Start your week by installing your game plan. You've made it to the wild card round. Remember, the playoffs are single elimination. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, 
you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks for those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a six-yard carry. It does put him just a few yards short of the... Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. They bring the five seed into the playoffs. Of course, they're one of the wild card teams. And when you're a wild card team, it makes it a little bit tougher. You have to win the extra game, but there's been a precedent set of teams doing that successfully in the past. And it's usually teams that have aspects that really jump out at you and are really factors in the playoffs. I mean, Pittsburgh, they wrote a heavy run game with Jerome Bettis when they won in 2005. And then don't forget the Giants in 2007. That season, pass rush. Remember how big that was for them during the playoffs. And for Green Bay, it was a quarterback play of Aaron Rodgers. So to me, it's a matter of what's going to affect the game in a big way. Can that aspect of your team really make those plays? A lot of times it's pass rush and quarterback play. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. And they'll go with the ground attack here. He'll be tackled shy of the 35. Pretty shifty footwork, but didn't buy him much. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. No, 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 Jack Patrick! And they'll run it here. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Leopard, Leopard. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Leopard. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, Leopard. this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The 13 yards that time and a first. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's got this one down to the 10. Back out of that Philly, here we go. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Leopard, Leopard. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown.
A great effort there. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, he'll field it in the end zone. A great return there of 22 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And on the ground they go with a running back. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. 